What is up, everybody? Ness here. Welcome back to Super Mario Sunshine. Today we are, I think we're going to do Speedy Comet and Space Junk, and then we're going to actually finish Space Junk. Why am I sitting weirdly? I'm sitting with, like, crisscross applesauce in my chair. This is not how I usually sit when I record. This is bad. But we have a Speedy Comet, first of all. And I think a Speedy Comet's probably, yeah, Pulsar Path speedrun. <clears throat> I remember this one a little bit. Also, I completely forgot to talk about, in the last video, uh... I'm, my brain is trying to work while also reading the, or looking at the graphics on the screen. I'm trying to like, uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, the, the, I mentioned that there is something in this level that you might think is familiar, which is the spaceship, the red spaceship, which, uh, I don't, are we going to cross it in this? I don't remember if we cross it in this. I think I'm going to have enough time to grab these. I probably shouldn't have done that. It doesn't. I don't really need star bits in a speedy comet. What I really need is speed. I am speed. Lightning Queen taught us right. Because this is kind of a longer star and it is kind of a tight timing. It's not particularly tight timing. Also, I don't remember these being laid out. Mario. Mario. I know gravity is weird and all, but like down is down, up is up. That's not how gravity works in this game at all. Where's the last one? There it is. Okay. Mario. Okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna not get distracted this time. The red ship, which... Do we land on it right now? No, we don't land on it right now. There's a red ship. Yeah, no, this ship right here. This ship you might think is familiar, because it is familiar. This is very much like the exact same layout of a ship as the Pikmin 2 ship that Olimar uses. I think it's it's not called the Dolphin in that game. What is the ship in that game called? Does that game have a name for the ship? I don't remember. SS, no, the SS Dolphin is the ship that Olimar uses in Pikmin 1. What is the ship called? Is Does the ship even have, isn't it just called like Garbage Ship or something? It's like the Junker ship that he gets from the dump at the beginning of Pikmin 2 when he has to trade his ship in because uh, there's not like the company or whatever that he works for is going under or something along that line. I don't exactly remember, but it's something like that. We gotta save these toads here. I can't wait to play Pikmin 2 on the channel, <coughs> and now that I have the Switch, I'll be able to play Pikmin 3 Deluxe. That's something I was worried about, is how am I going to play Pikmin 3 on the channel? Because I want to do 2, and 3, and 4 eventually, obviously. Pikmin 1 was such a fun playthrough for me, because it was it was just like, oh no, okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. That was almost bad. It was, it was like... I'm, I'm competent at Pikmin, but I'm not, like, amazing at Pikmin, and I've never been good at strategy games. So, oh, Mario, Mario, I need you to not fall here. I'm kind of stressed for no reason. We have, like, two minutes. I literally could just take my time and have plenty of time. There's no reason for me to stress. Do I go? Nah, I'm not going to risk it all. It would be funny, though, I'm because I, I completely don't remember how far it is. <laughs> um, Yeah, there's no way I would have made that. Oh god, I still almost messed it up. Okay, we're fine. We gotta get on the pepperonis once more. Got a minute 30 to get there. See, if the if the cutscenes had the timer going, this would be like a minute. Like a minute 15 or something like that. Which is not too big of a deal, but... It definitely would make it a little more tight, which would be probably a lot more, like, fun when you beat it, but stressful when you're in it. So I, don't, I guess I understand why they didn't do that. Either way... Pikmin's a good series. I can't wait to play more of it on this channel. I think next I'm going to be taking a break from, like, platformers and Zelda games and Metroid games and playing something a little different. It might be another Mario game. Wink, wink. Might be another Mario game, but not a uh, not a platforming Mario game. We'll see. It's either going to be that or a series that we haven't played on the channel yet, which I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about. I'm, tr I'm trying to figure out how I want to handle longer series. I mean, it. I guess it really doesn't matter, but, like... <coughs> If I play something like an RPG and it's like a 40 hour RPG and I do it in 30 minute episodes, it's like 80 episodes, which is like two and a half months. Terran Talks is Tangled Web. So I don't know if people, I, I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter as long as I'm having fun. Welcome to the galaxy. What do you got to say, Captain Toad? Brave Brigade Toad went to, oh yeah, we already read this. I forgot we read this last time because then we went to see this Yoshi over here, the wooden Yoshi statue or planet. It's not a statue, I guess. It kind of is a statue. I mean, statues are usually made out of, like, rock. Yeah, it's not a I mean, I guess there could be... It's, is, is it... 
can you have a wooden statue? Wouldn't it be called a sculpture? Isn't that, like, by definition, a different object? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting thing to think about. I don't actually know the answer to that. I'm curious. If you guys know the answer, definitely leave it down below. Don't just Google it. That's no fun. I'm, I don't know about you guys, but I'm one of those people that's like, if I'm trying to remember something, I'll, I would rather spend like, I would rather spend like 5-10 minutes trying to remember it while I do other things than just Google it and get the answer. I don't know why. I think it just makes me feel like I'm making my brain like make connections in a positive way that'll help me later in life. I don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's not a real thing, but either way, it makes me feel better. So, I don't see any reason to not do it. Look at this guy. Help, I'm stuck. Aim your... Uh, at me. And press A to pull me out. That sounds weird. Oops, that's B. There we go. Shoot this guy to the other universe. And then we'll shoot ourselves to the other universe. Gotta keep the real remote actually on screen. Woo, thanks. You're welcome, Toad. Purple Toad. I wish that Toad had more colors available to him in Mario Kart. I gotta get Mario Kart still. I was waiting until the Mario Day sale to get Mario Kart, and it's just not on sale. <laughs> and they have, it, the only games on, there's like four games on sale. It's like Luigi's Mansion 3, um, New Super Mario Bros. U on the Switch, and like, uh, there's like one other, like Mario Maker 2 maybe? I don't remember, there's like another one. I'm pretty sure they plan to do more. I think this is, they said this is like wave one, but it's also like, fun. just let me, just let me play it. Alright, what is this toad gonna say? Eek Mario, what is that thing? What is what thing? I don't see anything. All I see is web and spider and... Oh, that. That's a cute thing. That's a cute little bug. I don't, I usually don't like bugs, but bugs in games are usually cute. I mean, not all games, obviously, like, it's, there's not gonna be cute bugs. I can't aim. It's not gonna be cute bugs in, like, Resident Evil, obviously. I can't. I got stuck in a web that I didn't want to get stuck in. Okay, this one probably will work. Yeah. Wait, did it work? Uh... I guess that kind of works, right? Uh, do we have to... Yeah, we gotta hit all three of these, right? Yeah. I was like, do we have to hit all three of these now, or do we have to hit all three of these in total? Mario? Mario, get in the spider thing. Get in the spider thing, Ma Mario. I'm telling you to get in the spider thing. I can't believe it. I got time still. Yeah, okay, we're good. Ooh, man. I couldn't. I just couldn't get him to get into the spider web thing. I don't even know what to call that. Like a like a webby launch star. Okay, we're playing this kind of game. Mario, I was holding right, but then I needed to start holding up to change with the gravity. I wasn't ready. Mario. Okay, hold on, we're gonna shoot this. We're gonna shoot this. Can I just get this? Oh, Mario! I was holding right and he went forward towards the screen. Gravity, my worst nightmare. I should respawn like right at the beginning, brother. Why can't you put a checkpoint at the boss? God. Video game developers and not putting checkpoints at the boss fight after you've already completed something that's stupid easy. I'm looking at you from software with your Dark Souls games. How frustrating it is to just waste my time and make me walk back to bosses. I'll complain about that in every video game ever. Even Zelda, even Metroid. Stop wasting my time. Oh, there was a there was a six heart here and I missed it completely. Now I feel like a big idiot. Okay, where was this thing? It was at the bottom, right? Pretty sure. No Mario. You know what? I'm gonna take this guy out. If I can What kind of perception is this? I can't tell where the gravity is. Okay. I guess I'm going to take out another one of these guys. I said, I guess I'm going to take out another one of these guys. Yeah. Oh, wait, there's coins here. I didn't need to do that at all. Either way. <coughs> Just moving right along. Uh, do I have to take out... A no, I was like, I don't think I remember having to take out three guys to get to this place. All right. Man, if this is how I'm doing on one of the easier bosses, wait until later. With well, this is mostly because of the motion controls. To be quite honest. I had some chicken noodle soup before this recording, and now I'm like, I'm all souped up. I think what I'm supposed to be doing is hitting those so that it gets stunned, so that I can attack it. But that's something I never did as a kid, so I tried to do my old strategy of just running around it and make it harder than it actually is. 
I completely forgot about that until I just like looked at it and was like, why didn't I attack the small things last time? I can't believe I actually I I actually made it harder for myself for no reason. Oh man, leave it to me to always make games more difficult. Whoa, this is like perfect. Uh, I'm on this side. This is not perfect. Okay, we're fine. I'm not scared as long as he goes the way that I'm pressing with the controller. Stop! 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 Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We just need to survive this. Uh, I didn't know if he was gonna stop there or not. I guess this is probably the opportunity. What? No, Mario, go up, 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 up. I didn't want to get. Uh, this is what I mean. The, some of the stuff with like the motion controls and how it's like designed just frustrates me. I, I love the Wii. Don't get me wrong, the Wii is such a great console. But like, can we gotta do everything with the. We, can we not just have a Mario game that uses the controller? I'm glad that we're back to an era with Nintendo not doing uh, motion for everything. I mean, it's still kind of stupid that like Mario Odyssey, you have to shake the controller for certain things, and there's no option to use any of the like ten. I don't know. There's like what like oh, look at how cool that is. How like the web goes and then it comes back. That's really cool. But anyway, complaints aside. Well, we finish the star. We don't gotta worry about it. <coughs> I hope there's no, like, comment that makes that fight harder. Because that's gonna be a struggle. Either way, moving on. I are, are we going to the boss? The boss of this area now? I don't remember. Oh no, I think we're going to Battle Rock Galaxy next, right? Terran Toxic Tangled Web. Easy peasy. I got this, like, weird, like, uh... Like, I had chicken noodle soup before this recording, which I talked about in the last episode. I definitely should not eat before I record, because it makes my throat all weird. But, like, I don't know. I think this time is extra weird, because the chicken noodle soup is, like... <coughs> I don't know how to describe it. If you feed me a bunch of star bits, I'll burst with snacky happiness to transform. 400, that's not bad at all. We have more than 400, which is an astute observation. I'm stuffed. Here we go. Transform. And he will fly up to the sky. So I guess we're not going to Battle Rock, or is it called? Is it Battle Rock Galaxy? I don't remember what the actual name of it is. Now that I'm thinking about it, we're gonna go up here. What galaxy is this? I don't even remember all the Luma galaxies. Sling Pod Galaxy, a very sticky situation. This sounds like the opposite of the thing that I want right now. After I was just saying, oh man, the Sling Pods are. Why do we gotta do everything with motion control? <laughs> yeah, this looks fun. This actually doesn't look terrible. Mario kind of looking like a weird single-eyed being coming in there with his face looking like directly at the camera. This doesn't look too bad. This is just a timing thing, which I guess it's also an aim thing, but it's primarily a timing thing, which I'm not too worried about timing. I got okay. I'm worried about timing, and I'm worried about aim. <laughs> <laughs> I was immediately humbled by the level. Alright, let's try this again. We're gonna grab all these star bits. Because they're useful. They'll help us in the later game. Okay, we'll grab this. Uh, this is probably about where I need to aim. We'll hold it and then... Okay, we'll grab these. I don't know... Uh, it's probably safer to go for this one. Uh, that looks right to me. Right, we'll go for this one. Get this one up on the way. Good, we'll grab all these star bits. Now, this is definitely a weird timing thing. Uh, okay, I see it. That's like after the third shot. Uh, okay, go, 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 go. We're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, I think we just pull ourselves to these, right? Like, why would we not just do that? This one's kind of sketchy, but should be fine. Um, okay, we're fine. Go, 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 go. We'll pull ourselves to this. Uh, do we want whatever that is? I don't think we particularly need it, but let's go for it anyway. That's so scary, dude. You have no idea how scary that is. Okay. Uh, we'll do a little bit better aim this time. Okay. 
That gives us way more star bits, which so I guess that's definitely worth it at this point. Try to line this up. Wow, this is actually really nerve-wracking because it's like a single mistake basically spells death at this point. Uh, we're going to need extra distance this time. I, I don't think this will be too tight. Yeah, we're fine. Uh, grab all these. Alright, Mario. This is all you, my guy. Yeah. Alright, and the last but not least, a perfect shot for the star. Right now, we have done it. Easy peasy. I don't even know why I was stressed. I was stressed because every little single mistake was instant death. That's why I was stressed. It makes perfect sense while I was stressed. Pretty sure we got like 100 billion star bits though, so that, that should make a set for the rest of this game and the next 500 playthroughs. 100 billion star bits. It's probably more than enough star bits for every playthrough of this game that has ever happened ever in the history of the game coming out. Like, times a thousand. <laughs> I, I'm, not put, I'm not putting into good perspective how much 100 billion is. <coughs> Pretty sure this game only needs like four or five thousand star bits, something like that. I don't actually remember, but it's like, it's definitely less than like 15,000 star bits. So, I mean, 100 billion is... You know, every every single playthrough of this game that's ever happened, times a thousand, probably more than a thousand. It's probably like times like ten million or something. Let's check out what this is. Ooh, hurry, scary galaxy. This is a fun one. I actually really like this galaxy. This is someone remade this on the what was it like a like a fake port of this to the three uh, to the DS shrinking satellite, and they like tricked everybody into thinking that this game was coming out on the DS. I remember. Or was it the 3DS? I don't remember. I actually don't remember. But either way, this is a fun little galaxy. It's pretty short. We get to land. Whoa. Play Mario. Alright. Oh! I don't know how I got pushed away from that toad. The floor falls away when you step on it. Be careful. Yeah, easy peasy. So these blocks... I think these blocks have come back in multiple Mario games since this game, but... These blocks were really cool. They, I think they first showed up in this game. I tried walking along the path, but it started disappearing with every step I took. Every step that I take is another mistake. Okay. Launch star up here. Now this is a pretty fun little game that we're going to be playing here. Boom, 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 boom. We're going to be having to grab all of these music notes. If you played any of the more recent Mario games, you'll recognize that this is a thing that has returned on a lot but yeah there was a lot of new concepts <coughs> like trialed not trialed but like implemented in this game and it all just became standard mario stuff and i love how this galaxy <coughs> turns the black hole into the star so it's like you have no option but to fall into the star you'll fall around it for as long as it takes but eventually you will land in it i'm pretty sure once you fall in there you can't get out you might you might be able to you might be able to with some weird gravitational shenanigans and like <coughs> drop yourself off into space and die, but I don't think so. Alright, I think we got time for at least one more. We'll head, probably head to Scurry, uh, not, not Scurry Hurry. Uh, Battle Rock? Is it Battle Rock? I think Battle Rock's what we got next. Heck yeah. Battle Rock is a fun galaxy. Battle Rock Galaxy, let's go. This is a fun one. This is a, I think this is a very remembered one by people that have played this game, so this should be a good one. Battle Rock Barrage. <coughs> Let's take a peek into this galaxy. Oh, look at how cool this is. You got this like giant, like, asteroid with a battle station, I guess, into it. Next to this giant spooky planet with like all this dark fog on it. This planet is really scary. Stuff like that. <coughs> It's terrifying. It wasn't really scary to me as a kid, but like now seeing stuff like that is definitely scary. Like seeing pictures of like Jupiter, Jupiter is scary. I don't know how people, I mean, it's, it's a beautiful planet, but it's also like super scary. You can't tell me that Jupiter and Saturn aren't scary. Have you guys ever seen those pictures that are like, what it would look like if the planets were as far away from the earth as the moon is. And it's like Jupiter and Saturn take up like the entire sky. That is terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. I don't need, I mean, obviously, like, uh, I have everything I need except for this one. Obviously, like, that would never be possible in real life as far as I know. 
But like, if there was a planet or something like that, that would be so scary. Maybe it would be possible with like, multiple moons in the correct position and alignment and stuff, I don't know. I, I love space, but I don't know everything about space, which, that's fine. <coughs> I'm gonna screw this in, we're playing Ratchet and Clank right now, and this will start moving this, we're in an auto-scroller now. This is crazy, just look, look at everything that's going on on the screen right now, we got electricity, we got a moving saucer, we got these bullets flying at us, we got an electrical fence, not an electrical fence, but like a fence coming up here that we're gonna have to scurry underneath, and the bullets are attacking on both sides, <laughs> which is crazy, that's like we're going from side to side defending this. I wish there was more games with gravity mechanics like this. I played Unstrong Space Calamity, which if you guys haven't watched that series, definitely check it out eventually. That was me and my friend recorded that together. He recommended it to me, and it was a very fun game. It took a few episodes to get into it, but once I got into it, it was really fun. And it's basically like a like a single guy developed a indie version of Mario Galaxy, which is uh, it's just it's exactly what it sounds like. It's like it's goofy and low budget, but it's also like oh man, I got sniped. I wasn't even ready. It's like, it's like goofy and low budget, but it's still really fun. Has a lot of charm to it, which is the most important thing when you're making an indie game. As long as it's got charm, <coughs> somebody will like it. I hear a bullet bill cannon, but I don't see a bullet bill cannon. Where is my friendly... Oh, there it is. It's in the background. I was like, I know I heard it somewhere. I just didn't know where from. Come on, friends. Are you not the bullet bill cannon? Oh, you are. Okay. I was like, I'm pretty sure you guys are the bull bill cannons. I mean, I'm gonna get it to hit this one, so that'll be out of my way, and then we can get another one, hopefully. Get this guy to follow us uh, over to this. I can't believe I got caught on it like that. Got another coin just in case something stupid happens. Uh, that guy's gonna, yeah. Okay, that actually helps us. We'll be able to just gently glide right across this whole surface like Windex on a warm summer day cleaning the glass windows for your family on the farm I have no idea what I'm talking about right now <laughs> anyway I think with this we will call it here and we will continue Battle Rock Galaxy next time so thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed you know what to do do all that YouTube stuff smash the like button hit the favorite button Hit the subscribe button. Blah, blah, blah. I I can't do it. I can't do like the sell out YouTube stuff. But I'll get there eventually. But definitely leave a comment down below because I try to respond to all of them. And I love talking to you guys. Anyway, with that, I'll catch you back here tomorrow. Take care, everybody.